Hey everybody, Tim Lovelace here, and I'm going to give you a little bit of the story behind a song that I wrote and actually co-wrote with a friend of mine, Jerry Powell. Uh, I wrote most of the song, but he wrote a lot of country songs, and he would give me part of it. I'd write a lot of the gospel and give him part of it. And so, uh, but it was a song called An Old Convention Song. And it's been out a long time now. It was in the, oh, about 1986, somewhere in there, 84 maybe. The cathedrals cut it. Uh, yeah, probably about 84, 85. And I don't know, in the 80s. Uh, but the idea for this particular song came, my parents were shape note singers. One of my uncles sang with the stamps back in the 40s. And they all would gather around the piano and do the so la so me re do re me so me the shape note style. And one day in a recording studio, which I worked in uh, in my early 20s, before I went on the road with the Florida Boys and worked in a recording studio quite a bit, I, w I was playing with some great musicians. Uh, with the ba bass player, we played with the Air Force Jazz Band. We had a great drummer. We had like a couple of country guys. Uh, a couple of R&B guys, just a kind of an eclectic group of musicians that day for really uh, great recording. And I was on piano. Well, back then it was tape and the tape broke, something went down, so we're out of service for a little bit. So instead of just talking about Andy Griffith's show or talking about politics, somebody just said, what's one of your favorite styles of music? And somebody said, oh, I like jazz, fusion, and Somebody said, I like, you know, like really kind of Americana or bluegrass. We're talking about different styles of music. And they got to me and I said, you know, I love a lot of different styles, but I really love uh, like shape note singing, like convention music. And they said, why do I say like gospel convention music? And one of the guys, a great musician said, oh, you mean like Amazing Grace and how great they are. And I said, no, I mean like shape note with the old Stamps Baxter and the, do Re Mi's and, and none of the musicians had heard of that style. So I actually went home and was thinking about that. And it was a song, so this song really started not as a song to pitch to anybody, but just kind of more my heart of just thinking, how long has it been since you heard an old convention song? Because they were kind of disappearing. So I was up at Tree International with my buddy who wrote a lot of country and uh, uh, we were up there working with Tree and going by Muscle Shoals and some of those people. And, and my dad said, why don't you pitch this song to like Bill Trailer? he's got a gospel. And I, there I was writing Clean Country and I'm like, Dad, you just don't knock on the door and say I've got a song at a publishing company. My dad was always like, ah, I won't hurt, take it by there. And I'm like, Dad, they won't even listen to it. And he's like, take that convention song by there. So I listened to my father and didn't know Bill Trailer was not really in the gospel publishing world and uh, knocked on the door and Bill said, well, I'm getting ready to cut a group called the Cathedrals. Well, I knew of the Cathedrals, but I still didn't think it would make it to them. And about three or four weeks later, I was in the recording studio back in Mobile, got a telephone call back on the landlines and it was Roger Bennett. And Roger, and in the background, uh, I heard some laughing, and they were enjoying listening to the demo. And Roger said, uh, is this Tim Lovelace? And I said, yes. He said, uh, Glenn and George uh, that own our group said they're really interested in cutting an old convention song. And of course, Glenn had been, you know, Sam's Baxter. And so they cut it, and after that, a lot of other groups did cut it. But I guess my, what I'd like to say to maybe you new writers is, I didn't write that song necessarily to have a cut. I never thought the cathedrals would cut it. And they ended up putting on, on a lot of project and projects and several of the uh, Gates videos that recorded it. But a lot of times just following your heart, things that mean a lot to you, sometimes it'll, it'll find its own home. So, uh, and of course no one sang it like, like the cathedrals, all those men by a lot of other groups. Uh, I write now for Daywind Publishing, uh, but and, and they've got some, some great writers there. You can find me at timlovelace.com, but I want to just give you a little bit of the story behind that song. So for all of you writers out there, keep on writing. For all you people that enjoy listening to gospel music, maybe you'll know a little bit more about the story behind this particular song.